Hi, it's the Constant Angler. Um, I put a little post on Instagram and some Facebook groups about um, a lure I've been using for a, quite a few years now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It wasn't my idea. I'm being a magpie again. Uh, I read about it. I think it was um, the Labrac Squad used to have a, a web page, bass fishing site, uh, some Dutch anglers, and um, they mentioned how. Uh, they use toby lures with an EWG hook and a grub to make them weedless. And it's got its advantages, obviously it makes it weedless. So you can throw this lure in places where you wouldn't have been able to throw it before. The treble hooks on the back end here would have just snagged up. Um, there was a bit of debris in the water as well. Uh, the treble hooks could uh, pick that up easier. So rendering the lure fishless, spoiling the action. The first thing I thought when I saw it was great. I'm gonna gonna use this in the estuaries, chuck in around weed and rack and out into open water, and I'm not gonna have to worry about snagging up so much. Um, they're not the cheapest of lures, but they're certainly not the most expensive. But uh, you won't want to lose them anyway. And obviously, you can uh, scale this right down. This this is a big lure here. This is a 60 gram lure that I'm gonna try for pike. Um, a big bass any size bass would really would, would whop into that anyway. Um, I do use generally a sort of 18 gram to 20 something gram, I think they are, <coughs> Tobies for bass. And they've been very successful for me over the years. As I said, particularly when there's a bit of debris in the water, it enables you to fish this lure and it seems to throw off the debris better than other lures, uh, certainly hard plastic plugs and things like that. So if I just show you what I've done at the business end here, um, it's just a simple case of whoop, it's just a simple case of removing the treble hook from the split ring and replacing it with an EWG hook. Now when you do it you want to make sure the hook's facing upwards, so not downwards as in the belly of the lure. And uh, then you go find some grubs of your choice. There if you've got a particular favourite colour grub. Uh, I found, I uh, can't get out of them anymore, is the wave worm tiki grubs were great and I used to use them in, uh, started off using them in a smoke shad colour um, but you know, there's no reason why you can't use a red, a white, a green, um, a black, any colour you want. I have used other colours, I've stuck a red on for this particular one with pike in mind but you might want to stick a citrus or something like that on there. Um, as far as the action goes, I mean, Toby snake along anyway, don't they? This seems to increase the action. Uh, it, it, I can't really explain it to you, but it, it, it snakes along. Almost looks eel-like, which I guess is the attraction of the Toby. It certainly doesn't spoil the action of the Toby. In fact, um, it makes it even better. <clears throat> so as I said, you, this is what I've been doing for, for bass for quite a few years now. I don't, I don't know how many years, whenever I spotted the article sure some of you already do that uh, but yeah it's a good lure cast of miles you've got your flash and some other form of attraction in here uh, but as I say this one I've rigged up for pike you could downscale completely go a lot smaller and um, use a toby for perch um, the canal I fish has got a lot of weed in it I'd be able to fish this quite easily in the canal whereas if I use the treble up there'll be only be certain spots I could confidently throw it course if you chuck it the other side and it lands in the reeds then you can have more of a chance of getting it back with this so you just tech expose the hook as we always do uh, there you go I suppose you could even have the option of um, exposing the hook a bit if you really wanted to in a clearer swim but yeah just pick the EWG hook of your choice stick the grub of your choice on match the size of the grub up to the lure that you're fishing and away you go so um, thinking along that theme uh, I'll come up with some other ideas now I haven't tested these out so um, you know you'll have to uh, do so yourself but I mean it's a cheap experiment isn't it there's a little sort of copper goldy blacky colored spoon pike spoon um, it's an Abu Garcia hammer so we're sticking with Abu here I put a little gold grub on to match they're just cheap ones I got off eBay somewhere and uh, you know all of a sudden that spoon's more more usable in more swims uh, so let's have a look at some more let's line them up nicely so you can see them all 
as I said, I, whether they work or not, I'm sure the, the spoons will. Um, you could do the same with a spinner. I've got a Voltex spinner here, size four and size six blade, double spinner here. And I've just clipped on the EWG hook to it. And in this case, a little Citrus scrub. And I'm sure that's gonna work. Well, we won't know until we try it, will we? But I'm sure that will work. And I could fish that a bit deeper, maybe in some swims that I wouldn't want to chance it with before. Uh, everyone's favorite bassler at the minute seems to be uh, the Savage Gear Seeker for fishing in the surf. Uh, I'm, it's a bit of a pollocky color. I'm sure it'll catch bass as well. And I'm thinking of chucking it off the rocks for pollock around reefy sort of ground where, you know, treble hook is really going to hook up. You can put a single hook on them. Uh, but I've done what we're talking about. I've just got a little grub that sort of seems about the right size for the lure and an EWG hook. This is one of the Meredith grub grubs, grubs that I use for wrasse. And I'm thinking and I'm hoping that that's going to do the same thing. All of a sudden I'll be able to use this for pollock. Now, people did mention that um, you, maybe your hook up right, will go down. Uh, as you're you're not going to treble look on there well, obviously yes it's going to affect that isn't it you know we'd be stupid to say it wouldn't but i think it will from my experience with the toby lure for bass i haven't really noticed any difference i'm still catching bass whether i catch more of a treble or not i don't don't know but then i'm throwing this around where i couldn't before so that increases my catch rate uh somebody mentioned that fish hit the head of the lure yeah they do i think the what you're looking for here you get some action from the lure but you're looking for the flash it's the flash that's probably triggering the fish so they see the flash they'll see the movement of the turly tail grub and i think they'll probably hit that but i mean it's, it's an experiment isn't it i mean i'd like to hear your thoughts on it you guys get out there and have a go and see uh, see what does happen for you um then again somebody mentioned perks and things like that well you know there's a dexter wedge there i've stuck a little little grub the only one i had of a certain size <laughs> colors bleach from summit there but i've just done exactly the same you could stick another split ring or a swivel in there and um, give it a try you know whether we'll get tangles or not i don't think so because this isn't the hook points not coming anywhere near this top swivel there or anything so uh yeah, maybe it's just a little something that'll make a difference on certain days um you know if we let, we're after perch we could use a smaller toby lure or um this hook's too big to be honest it's just as a demonstration if i had a smaller ewg i could put that on there um but yeah on a little uh size two spinner there uh, if i could get a smaller ewg hook then this this little grub would be perfect get hold of some smaller grubs again so some ideas here um someone else mentioned flounder and when i was a kid uh the older subscribers or watchers of you there uh, generation will remember um, we used to get coke cans and they had a little ring pool on them we used to chop these ring pools off and make little spoons out of them I've got a similar sort of thing going on here and then we trap them between two bits of split shot pieces of split shot there and uh, we'd put maddies on well you could still do that or you could use your um, Berkeley Gulp kind of thing um, or uh, I can't think of that. but what I've done there is I didn't have a tiny tiny little um, little EWG hook so I've got a straight shank hook there and I've just uh, exposed it through the bait like that I call it the alternative Texas rig if you watch my tricky January RAS video you'll see me doing this there you can still feel the hook point if they bite on it and they'll have it um i'm not an expert at flounder fishing with artificial baits so uh some of you guys could develop this better i've already thinking i'd probably put it on a stiff bit of fluorocarbon which i'd have a swivel up the top and just tie straight onto that or maybe onto a clip um and probably use a different grub different hook arrangement but it's, it's something to think about isn't it i mean you can see this little spoon here i've just taken off the back of a, a perch lure and just you know put it on the line i thought i don't know how well this will work i know what we used to do as a kid was sort of spin them along and stop and just let them sit there until we felt the weight of the hook of the fish and then we were into them but whether they'll attack grubs i've seen they you know people do do this with small grubs i've not had any success yet but it, it if this works brilliant if, if this doesn't i'm sure you guys can adapt something to work 
um, or suggest something better. Maybe you could put it on a tiny metal of some description, uh, change out the treble hook or those little uh, cyst hooks or whatever and put something weedless grub on instead. I don't know, it's, it's a thought there to leave you with. So yeah, these here I haven't tried. So don't hold me to it if the action's not great and it does spoil it. This works. I can tell you this works. I've, I've so many times I've caught so many bass on this 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 arrangement. Uh, on days when I'm not caught on something else, surprisingly, that seemed to be nothing around, chuck out one of these and boom, start catching a bass or two. Um, so yeah, there it is. The Abu Toby weedless and lots of other little ideas. Thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. Uh, please give us your likes, they do make a difference. And um, yeah, comment away on this one. I, I, I enjoy your feedback. Uh, if if you, you think something there, ah, it's not going to work, well, let me know. I don't know, you're probably right. I, who knows? If you think it's, a, it's the most amazing idea you've ever seen, let us know about that. But uh, yeah, great. Thanks again. Please like, subscribe. Cheers.